Hello everyone. Um, this is Miss Rain here and I am here to talk with you all about being an active patient, about hashtag, you know, save yourself. Um, and you know, that whole, my whole campaign and, and everything that that entails. So on a weekly and sometimes daily basis, I and my peers, um, other um, holistic people in society, um, we are bombarded with health problems from other people and um, requests for consultations from people who have health problems that were absolutely preventable or that were aggravated by um, a medical procedure or something of that nature. And a lot of times we get together and we chat <laughs> and we're like, you know, I really wish, and sometimes the, the client says this too, I really wish I would have gotten t to speak with you, meaning me or me saying this to them sooner, before the surgeries, before, you know, you took that medicine or whatever it may be. Because um, sometimes, you know, it's just added damage or um, added problems to the situation. And one thing that I just really want to drill into the heads of people is when you go see a physician even if you go see a holistic healer this goes for anybody and you don't feel comfortable you don't have to go through with the visit or you can leave early or you can do that visit and be like hmm, i don't think i'm gonna go back you don't have to stick with this person because they're a doctor or because they're a holistic homeopath or because they're whatever and put up with recommendations that you don't feel are best for you so for instance, if you go to the doctor and they tell you, you know what, I think that you have massive fibroids and you need to get a hysterectomy. Um, you can say, okay, and you can schedule a surgery, surgery immediately, which a lot of people do because they're scared. You know, there's instantly this, this, I'm sorry, my nose is itching, you guys. It's like, I don't know what's going on. There's an instantly like, oh my God, we got to schedule the surgery now. We got to do this. And then, you know, but there's also always the option to get a second opinion from another health professional, whether they be another, you know, right, you know, a regular physician or homeopathic um, or naturopathic um, consult consultant or, or physician. Um, you don't have to just immediately go with whatever is presented to you. You have time to think about it and you have time to go and do your research. And that is something that I really highly recommend is to go do your own research. I'm not saying that every single doctor is full of crap and they're liars. I'm not saying that at all. Some people some people feel like because I am all holistics and I really don't deal with doctors like that, that I'm anti-doctor. For the most part, I'm not. <laughs> but cause I, I've had some wonderful physicians in my day. I've had some wonderful doctors. But at the same time, you know, I do know that sometimes the way they think they're only wired to think one way, and that's just the things that they were taught in medical school. Some doctors, you know, don't even know or have never even heard of some of the remedies that holistic, you know, healers and other health professionals have been doing forever. You know what I mean? They would never, they never would have thought about that. They're like, oh, what's that? That's an herb. And sometimes though, some some of them are anti-holistic health. They're like, oh, it's just a bunch of bull. That's not, you know, that doesn't work. You know, some people feel like, some doctors do feel like that. And some people I know who work with doctors, they tell me that they have, they work with a physician who's very against anti-health, you know, holistic medicine. And if you ask them about it, they'll be like, oh, that's nothing. It doesn't work. And I've had a doctor do that to me. You know, she was extremely dismissive and she was just like, Psh, that stuff is blah, blah, blah. And, you know, that, that person's a liar. You know, discrediting other health professionals. They do that all the time. And so I understand that, you know, but you have to understand that there are, there are different ways to do stuff, you know, because um, even now they're coming out with saying, oh, well, you can, you can have your, you can do an outpatient surgery and have your, your fibroids reduced. You know, they've probably been doing that a long time. I don't even know how many, I know they've been doing it for several years now, but there are women that are still getting hysterectomies for fibroids because they didn't even know about this outpatient procedure that would allow them to keep their uterus and not get a hysterectomy. Not saying that I endorse that procedure, because I don't really, you know, I don't, because I think that the fibroids can be shrunk naturally. Um, but 
that's really the that's the whole that's that's the thing it's like at least explore all your options and if you don't know what your options are go and research them go and find out don't just take oh i have to get a the, the doctor says i gotta schedule me a c-section a month away go see another physician go see a midwife and ask for their opinion on whether you absolutely have to get a c-section now if you're in the delivery room and the doctor is saying you got a c-section right now right now right now you know unless you have a, a person there to advocate for you you know you may have to go do that right now because i mean that's the life of your child and you're right there in the heat of that moment but if you they're trying to get you to schedule it three months out and you don't necessarily feel or a month out and you don't feel comfortable you feel kind of weary about it or trying to induce you a day after your due date go see another health professional you do not have to go through with that health professional you do not you know i, I i've seen women they get a new midwife 32 weeks because the other one just wasn't complying with her birth plan and she wanted her birth to go a certain way. And I'm not mad at her. Stick up for yourself. This is your body. <laughs> That's why people, I kill people, kill me. Well, my doctor made me do this. No, this is your body. You could have declined and you could have seen another doctor. So, um, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm doing this video because there are so many people that come to me and they're just like, oh my God, you know, I had this surgery and this surgery and this surgery and now I have all of these problems. I took this and this and this and then they had to give me a surgery and now I have all these problems. They bullied me into doing this and now I have all of these problems. And you know, they even tell me, I wish I would have known about a natural way. They tell me that all the time. Well, I'm here to give you natural ways, especially if they have to do a reproductive health. Um, and you know, and if this is regarding anything, go and do the research before you get the procedure. I don't care if it's dental, I don't care if it's shit giving blood ask just ask questions be you know be be inquisitive don't just go with the first thing because you know one like for instance if you for instance take a hysterectomy something that black women are getting at an alarming rate say you got a hysterectomy because you have heavy periods first of all i have herbs for that in my store <laughs> secondly say you go get the hysterectomy say you actually go say say go you go through with it and maybe you find out later something else you could have done Maybe you change your mind about wanting to have a baby. And then you're like, I wish I would have never gotten an hysterectomy. At that point, it's really too late. And that's the thing I want to prevent. I want to prevent the, I should not have done this because now I have a, now it's a, it was a permanent decision for a temporary situation. And now I wish I wouldn't have done that. You know what I'm saying? Um, also, I know people sometimes get frustrated with holistic health people because we, we're going to put you on a three month plan or we got a 21 day um, plan and it's like, I, I, why can't I just go to the doctor and take medicine and it's gone in a week? Well, it may resurface. It may not be gone. Um, first of all, seven days, a lot of times isn't enough to really heal a lot of stuff. Sometimes you, you know, you do, your body needs more time. You have to also understand that your body has taken, it's been years, months and years for your body to build up to the situation that it's at now. So it may take months and it may possibly even take years for you to get to a point where your body is fully restored back to its real health. And so sometimes people get frustrated with holistic health people because we don't have an overnight solution, but it's a permanent solution a lot of the times. And so that's what is, is different. You don't have to keep going back. Yes, I have capsules in my store, but my capsules are not meant to be taken until you die. There should be a point where you should actually heal and feel better. And I also, um, you know, advise people to look into the, the, the relation between doctors and pharmaceutical companies and how they're compensated for either referring you to a specialist, giving you um, a particular medication and things like that. Um, for, for us, we don't get that, you know, holistic people. We don't get, you know, money because we tell you to go see a massage therapist or to go see a chiropractor unless we have a, 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 a partnership with that other health, that other business person. We're just literally telling you this out of the kindness of our hearts. We're not doing this because, you know, we're trying to make money. Not to say we don't make money from, you know, maybe we're selling, you know, an herbal capsule such as myself or selling health information or um, guiding you through a detox as some health coaches do. Um, but the thing is, there's going to come a point where you are going to get to a point where you're going to realize that you healed your own body yourself. So this is self-empowerment. And then you're going to get to a point where you realize that you don't need to depend on another person for your healing. You know, we put a lot of, okay, now it's time for you to go do this meditation. Now it's time for you to go do this. We put a lot of responsibility on the patient because this is their body and ultimately they have to heal themselves. This is not about us healing you. 
you know what I'm saying? And then and then you look up at us and be like, oh, you know, this person is the holy grail. No, that, that's not what we want. You are. You, you're, you can heal yourself. This is your body. So my, my main thesis for this is you just look for different avenues before you agree to doing something that it may be a permanent decision. Because you don't want to get something done and then you look at it on TV and there's a commercial flashing about... Did you get the transvaginal mesh? You know, it has been known to cost this and this. Do you want to get the settlement? Yeah, the settlement money may be great, but you may actually have permanent damage to your body or something that you did that wasn't even researched good enough, you know, in a medical lab because now you have it and it's messed up your body or it's messed up, you know, a lot of people to the point where there's a, a class action lawsuit against it. You see what I'm saying? You don't want to be in one of those situations. Um, I have seen the birth control that I used to take on TV. <laughs> class action lawsuit and I'm like you know what see and, I, and, I, and I'm thinking that this I'm taking this you know for my health this is for my health no no I wasn't it's not it's not it doesn't help anything <laughs> when you're in the, you know when you're having pain and bleeding and cramps and PMS and all this other stuff and I could have prevented pregnancy naturally myself at home so these are the kind of situations that we're we try to prevent from actually happening this is what holistic health is about. It's about preventative medicine and, you know, keeping you from putting harmful chemicals in your body that can cause permanent damage. That's it. That's the only reason why we preach a lot of the things that we preach. We preach the breastfeeding. We preach the holistic health. We preach, you know, researching the vaccines and things like that because we, we see what happens to people who do otherwise. We see what happens to them or it's happened to us and we found a better way. That's really what this movement is really about. So save yourself. Ask around and find out if there's a natural healing modality for your health problem before you agree to permanent life-changing surgery or medications or procedures that you don't know what are going to be the implications 10 years from now. Visit me at chosenwomb.com and I'll see you guys next time.